Um, a lot to learn from the, how many years, Rosemary, actually? 20. 27 years of Rosemary's incredible work, it says me. Um, okay, we are moving into some very cool next new phases because um, we have a new fellows group we need to announce, so this is getting exciting. Um, I am going to take us through a, a couple of, oh, oops, sorry. <laughs> I'd love to see them again. Um, a couple of slides just to, to, to set this up for us a little bit. And that's going to um, take us into um, a moment where we, I'm going to bring um, Elise on stage and we're going to announce our new group and think towards the future and what these incredible people are going to be doing next. Um, and also what real problems we're going to be trying to solve together. But I first want to explain a little bit about where we've, where we've come and, and what we're going to do next. Um, and this is something that Kathy and Roberta and I and Elise Franchino and, and Catherine Giri, who was here, and just want to say a big shout out to Catherine. She's our program officer, um, program officer from the Jakobs Foundation um, has, uh, the Jakobs Foundation supported this idea from the beginning and it is a thrill, thrill, Catherine, to have you here from Switzerland, so thank you. Um, but, you know, things evolve and you need to kind of think about, okay, wait, what's working, what's not working, how can we make some changes, the same way our fellows groups are, right? And the same way we as human beings are learning and trying to rec recognize how do we kind of take what we've learned and do something new and make sure that we're, we're making, making a difference. So we um, recognize kind of straight up that we're, we're pretty wedded to this collaboration model. Like, we're like, that's not going anywhere. We see so much promise in this, and I hope you all do too, from what you saw this morning, from what we just heard in this conversation. Um, but we also are recognizing that, um, you know, people have busy lives. It's kind of crazy to get on Zoom calls from like Zurich to like, Los Angeles and try to kind of make things work. So we're, we're, in, we're in a phase now where we're thinking about some new ways of doing our work. Um, and I want to explain a little bit about what that's going to look like. So let me see, I've got multiple things going on here. Um, we at New America have been working to try to figure out how to bring kind of cross-sector work together um, already. and. So I'm gonna show you a couple of just quick examples of that, and then also show you examples of how so many of you in the room here and many of you online are already part of incredible coalitions um, and incredible organizations doing this already. Um, and it's time to start like really amplifying this, right? It's time to start showing what this can mean for those who may be in places where they feel a little bit less like, oh gosh, I don't know, I don't feel like there's time. Like, we, we're now at a place where we can really show what's possible. So what, what you're seeing on screen here right now is um, a hackathon that New America held in June. And Anmay Chung, the director of our teaching, learning, and tech team is here. Hey, Anmay, thank you. Um, she helped to make all of this happen with the Build for Good program that we have and with experts in artificial intelligence and using AI tools, but also using openly licensed materials, working with um, those who really understand universal design and what students with disabilities and learners with disabilities of all ages need. Um, and with teachers, we brought you know, educators here to work with them in teams. And this hackathon was just an incredible moment of this kind of cross-sector collaboration. Um, so, so that's one thing that started to unfold. We also have been recognizing that it's, it's really important to be partnering with media companies. It's really important to be recognizing the importance of storytelling. So there was a documentary, this is just kind of one of many examples, but a documentary that came out a few years ago called No Small Matter. One of our New America fellows, Greg Jacobs, was the um, kind of one of the lead directors of that. And then we, working with them, used various clips from that documentary to provide resources to educators, um, preschool through the third grade, so that they could see um, pieces from, the, from that film and, and how they worked. And then there's examples that are outside New America, but with partners um, from all different places. And this is, is the smattering of logos from organizations that, that our Learning Sciences Exchange team has worked with in the past, that many of you in the room um, are already part of and, and working with. Um, there's so many more than just what I have up here. 
Um, and, and I think that's one of the things we need to recognize is that like there's just, and we'll talk about this later this afternoon too with Michael and Ralph, cannot wait for that conversation. But there's a, a lot of incredible work happening. So New America and the Learning Sciences Exchange, we're seeing ourselves as a platform for problem solving in education. We're seeing ourselves as, as conveners and network builders. Um, and we're seeing ourselves as like a, a place to come try to break through some really tough issues. But we need to do that in, in partnership. So our next stage is going to be to work in closer partnership on the ground with organizations and funding partners to really kind of s to solve design in new ways and to solve some big, some big issues for them. Um, so I have it kind of listed up here this way that it's about cross-sector collaborators tackling vexing educational problems, but in partnership with regional and topic-specific change agents. And that could be any number of organizations. Um, we are very fortunate that the Grable Foundation has been willing to jump on board with us for this next phase, so that we'll be kind of testing this method with Grable and a group that you're going to hear a lot about in just a few minutes called Parents as Allies, which is doing some really interesting work on family engagement that's very outside the box, not, not the way you normally think about it. Um, so our next fellows class is going to focus in on some problems that have already been identified by partners that we're working with in this space. Um, and then we, we very much like invite you to join us because we are excited to have additional cohorts of other fellows working in different, um, on different problems in different places um, that are using this through line of the science of learning. So, okay, I'm gonna stop here because next is when I wanna bring up Elise um, so that we can introduce the fellows who are gonna be part of this new group. Um, and Elise, are you here? Okay, so Elise, Elise Franchino is our program manager for the Learning Sciences Exchange. She is the magic behind so much of what happens, so I'm very grateful to Elise on a million levels. Um, and, um, yeah, thank you, Elise. So we, um, Elise is going to be the one to announce our, our next seven fellows. They're gonna work for the next year in, um, they're from all over, but they're gonna be focusing in on some of the work that's being done in schools in southwestern Pennsylvania. So Elise, you wanna come up here and we'll, we'll get everybody set up. All right, it is my honor to welcome and introduce the 2024-2025 LSX Focus Fellows. So I'm gonna call them and they're gonna join me up here on the stage. First, oh, thank you. First, I'm going to welcome Susie Beltron Grimm, Assistant Professor of Psychology from Portland State University. <laughs> Tara Garcia Mathewson, Technology and Education Reporter for the Markup. Tabitha Marino, Assistant Superintendent at Newcastle Area School District. <laughs> Scott Miller, Principal of Avonworth Primary Center in Avonworth School District. <laughs> Miroslava Rodriguez, Co-Founder and Chief Technology Officer of Irandi Aprende, based out of Mexico in the United States. Erica Slobnik, Principal of the K-8 Building at Duquesne City School District. <laughs> and lastly, Sheila Thomas, Author, Speaker, Parent, Coach, and Literacy Advocate based out of Georgia. Please join me in giving one more big round of applause to our new cohort of fellows. <laughs> 